guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to tell you what I got for my dance exam, like my results. Um, yes, yeah, so basically I had a ballroom and Latin dance exam last week, like last weekend, like the weekend just gone. Um, and yeah, like I'm like one of the most experienced ballroom and Latin dancers in our dance school and I've been doing it on and off since like year seven and obviously I'm 26 now so it's been a long time Um, I was doing my gold bar one in ballroom and latin so both of them and yeah I just kind of wanted to talk to you about my experience and then what I achieved in my results so yeah so I was doing my ballroom in latin so obviously you had to do all like the eight dances so i had to do rumba cha cha samba and jive in latin and i had to do waltz quick step tango and foxtrot in ballroom now i'm not very good at foxtrot but it's my dance teacher's favorite dance so i had a good partner so that's good um and i would probably say cha cha is not that best one in latin so they're the two that i obviously had to like be careful in and also my jive like jive's just so fast like i'm just not fit enough for a jive but anyway <laughs> so i obviously found out who the examiner was and we noticed we we know we've known the examiner from previous exams and she is quite a harsh marker so she's very very tough and she likes to um mark lower than some of the examiners so obviously we try so hard to impress her and obviously i got there and i partnered some of the little ones first that kind of like calmed my nerves down a little bit and then um it was my turn to go in and before but before that the examiner was cold so we put like the heating on in the room and we give her like a little heater underneath the desk so the room was super super hot so for me to do eight long dances in a super hot room is quite not good <laughs> so yeah so obviously i went in i did my dances halfway through it i had to have some of my dance teachers water because i was literally like because oh, it was so warm um in the in my rumba i went to do a different routine don't ask me why i made up the routine but luckily because me and my dance teacher are so like we're so used to dancing with each other and making mistakes we kind of just follow each other so she just followed me and then just like mouth like whispered what i should do next and then she stopped she asked us to stop the rumba so we stopped it um and then everything else actually went okay and then in my ballroom i think it was what, what was it was it foxtrot yeah so foxtrot my dance teacher just made it up but i said to her beforehand i was like i don't really know what i'm doing in the foxtrot so we say it to me and she was like let's just roll with it so i was like okay so um yeah i just followed her in that so yeah we both we both did like random dances <laughs> um but just because we're so good at following each other like she wouldn't have noticed so yeah so my exam went pretty well and i was pretty confident with it um and then I got a text off my dance teacher telling me that no one got honours, which is like the highest mark, um, in the ballroom. And she said that ev she scored everyone between 80 and 87%. So I was like, okay, well, I, I was thinking to myself, if I've not got honours, I'd rather have highly commended rather than commended. Because like the way they go, it goes um, like unsatisfactory pass commended highly commended honors something like that and um obviously highly commended is like the second highest so i thought well if she's not give any honors out i'd rather have a highly commended but i'd be really annoyed with myself if i got commended because i never get commended um and then because i'm going little mix for my like tonight when you watch this this is normally like my um dance night I'm obviously not going dancing because we went to see Little Mix. And yeah, so she sent me my results by text so I could read them. So I'm just going to share them with you guys just to kind of like document what I got for Gold Bar 1. Um, and obviously I'm going, if we if I have the same as I'm going to have for Gold Bar 2, I'm making it my mission to get on and it's like literally making it my issue, mission. 
because like she's just such a tough marker but I'm so determined to get honest with her for my silver no for gold I just scraped on honest so honest is like 90% and I just scraped on honest so yeah so these are what I um got so in my latin for rumba she said continue to develop the natural top I'm not quite sure what that means but I'm gonna ask my dance teacher confidently danced with sound rhythm so that was like a really nice comment um, cha cha she's put lively style with expressive free arm use develop your hip action now I actually got that in my last one I'm not very good at wiggling my hips but I mean yeah um, Samba she put conf confidently projected work on your hip and pelvis action now so gotta do that um, Jive she put expressive style with neat footwork shown so yeah so I got highly commended um, so I was super happy about being highly commended and I actually got the highest mark of 87 that she's marked in a ballroom and Latin exam um, So it's the top mark that she's done in the exams So I was really really happy with that my dance teacher was happy with the comments and everything like that so for ballroom um, I got for waltz I got neat footwork Sarah with sound elevation shown so that's a really nice comment. For quick step, she said, while projected figurations, aim for slightly more leg swing now. I'm not quite sure what that means either, so I will ask my dance teacher. Um, for Foxtrot, she put neat footwork position shown. Try to work on your rise and fall further. Now, Foxtrot is one that I didn't really, I've not really done much of, so that's why I'm not very good at it at the moment. Um, and that's and I wasn't expecting to have a really good like comment from that so for her to say neat footwork position shown that was really really nice of her to put that and obviously I need to work on some things in the foxtrot because I've not really done it much before for tango she put smartly performed with neat footwork and character now I love a tango and my dance teacher says I'm best at the tango so I was expecting I would have been really 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 cross with myself if I got a really bad like comment for that but yeah all the comments were really really nice again and I got highly commended again for ballroom and I got the mark of 86 so 86 and 87 which are the top two marks for what she's scored any ballroom dancer in the school so I'm super super happy with my gold bar one routine results so yeah I just thought I'd like document that um and yeah if any of you guys do like ballroom and latin or any kind of like dancing let me know if you've done any dance routine dance exams recently um the idta ones and yeah let me know what you got i'm so happy with mine and yeah thank you my to my dance teacher for giving me really good results so thanks so if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!